Hi, my name is Jesse Elaine, and today I'm here to talk to you about my new book entitled Pick Control. Pick Control is a collection of over 700 exercises that I have been working on and teaching to students for approximately 15 years. These exercises are designed specifically for the development of what I call micro dexterity of the picking hand. Micro dexterity is simply the very small movements that are very efficient and economical for the picking hand to develop. As you move through your career as the guitarist that you are, you'll realize that having the most economical movements is key to your endurance and overall success. So I've found that with these exercises you'll be able to more quickly achieve the technique and the success that you want to have as a guitar player. The first thing to discuss is that this book is specifically for flat picking. It is not for finger style or classical style guitar playing. I use this particular pick which is made by the Jim Dunlop company. It is called a Jazz Tone number 205. It's quite thick, almost two millimeter thick and it has the pointed tip as you can see. I'll discuss a little bit now about how to hold the pick and in my opinion what I find leads to the best micro dexterity techniques. So I use the loose fist method with just a small part of the pick protruding out from between the thumb and the forefinger. And I use the big fleshy part of the thumb and the side of the forefinger to hold the pick. So there's only a very small part protruding and all that you have to do is focus on keeping the hand, fingers, wrist, arm, shoulder relaxed and essentially just follow the rhythms. Now another thing you'll want besides guitar picks and the book is some kind of uh, rhythm timekeeping device. I suggest a metronome or a good drum machine or even computer program, sequencer, music workstation, something that has a steady time that it can provide for you. So I'm going to show you some simple examples how you might work through this book. I'm going to show you a quarter note going progressing to an eighth note, then to eighth note triplet, then to sixteenth notes. I'm just going to show you the method in which I might go through practicing some of these routines. Okay, so first things first, we'll start our drum pattern. I'm using a Korg Beat Boy. These are relatively inexpensive and they do a lot. So you're just going to be hearing it right out of the built-in speaker. It's not going to sound very hi-fi, but you'll get the idea. So here goes the drum pattern, 120 beats per minute. Okay, and... You're going to be able to see me in playing position here. So I'm just going to play this C note that's on the fifth fret of the third string. Okay, so we're going to start with quarter notes and ready, three, four. Notice the downstroke picking only, right? Eighth notes is an alternate down, up, down, up. Triplets. Sixteenths. So as you can see, very simple, but it's really all about the repetition. And repetition with the proper technique will lead you to be able to play in the way that you want to play, which is with speed, efficiency, and very relaxed hand, wrist, arm, shoulder, so on. Okay? So this book contains all of that and many, many more rhythms. Those are just some of the first rhythms that appear in the book. You're going to find rhythms that combine sixteenths with triplets, 
with quintuplets, with all different kinds of rhythms. You'll also find that there's a section of the book that actually works on string crossing or string skipping, as some people will call it. I'll show you that exercise as well, because I find that one is a great warm-up exercise that you can take with you anywhere you go. It's simple enough where you won't actually need to have the book in front of you at all times to remember it, but you can play it in any position, and it works really good as a warm-up for the picking hand especially, but also for the fretting hand. So I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to just show you at a slower tempo for the reason that I want you to be able to hear it a little bit uh, more clearly than if I'm just flying through everything. So I'm going to change the tempo now to 100 beats per minute. And we're going to play in our eighth note style. Okay, so it's based on the simple chromatic exercise that we, we learned when we are first starting. It's based on this. But we're going to change things up. We're going to cross the string sets to be able to develop a very uh, minute amount of movement to be able to cross all the strings. So we're going to start on the sixth string, then go to the first string, and it sounds like this. And then we're going to go back now, but to the fifth string, and then to the second string. Then the next group is contracting everything inwards now, fourth string, third string, and then back out, fifth, second, sixth, first. Okay, so let's try the whole thing. Ready? Back up. Next position. And of course you can do these at any rhythmic value and you'll have to do these at different rhythmic values to really get a good uh, idea of how the exercise works and to get the most out of the exercise. And that's just one example from the string crossing section. There's sections that talk about consecutive stroke technique which is sometimes called sweep picking or economy picking. There's a whole section on that. And there's also sections, um, in addition to the single notes, you have two, three, four, five, and six note studies, which enable you to practice your picking technique at all different groups of strings and sets of strings. So I encourage you to start the book using the minimum tempo requirement, which is 80 beats per minute. 80 beats per minute is just a little slower than what we were just doing. It's 20 beats slower Per minute than what we were just doing and I'll play that for you just so you can get an idea of what that sounds like so this is 80 beats per minute okay so quarter notes are very slow at this tempo eighth notes triplets and then sixteenths you can hear the difference between playing at 120 versus playing at 100 or even 80 as we just did. So I would recommend starting at the slower tempo, working your way through. As you've probably heard throughout your career as a musician, it's better to start slow and work your way up. Or in other words, walk before you run. So those are my basic suggestions for beginning the book. I would uh, recommend going to Amazon.com's link that you can find below this video in the comments section. And you'll also find that it's available for Kindle as well as a hard version, actually a paperback version, but a physical copy of the book is available. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll do my best to answer the questions in a video format if it's possible, or if not, in a written format. So thank you and good luck.